Hi, it's Sarah from South Fayette Township Library, and I'm excited to share with you a nonfiction book that I just finished reading called Bad Blood, Secrets and Lies in a Silicon Valley Startup, written by investigative journalist John Carreyrou from the Wall Street Journal. In this very exciting book, John Carreyrou takes us through the rise and fall of Elizabeth Holmes, a 19-year-old Stanford dropout who became the founder of a biotech startup called Theranos in 2003. This 19-year-old was able to convince everyone of her vision of a blood analyzing device that could perform hundreds of different blood tests using a single drop of blood. Doctors could access patient results in real time and adjust medications and make diagnoses based on these blood test results. Elizabeth Holmes claimed that the Theranos device was faster, cheaper, and more accurate than anything else that was currently on the market. It was revolutionary. During the height of the Theranos craze, Elizabeth Holmes was compared to Steve Jobs and she loved that comparison. She was on the cover of Forbes magazine and Inc. She was on NPR. Lots of articles were written about her and she appeared on television shows and gave several TED Talks. Elizabeth Holmes was validated and credibility was added to her and her company because of the impressive list of people on her board of directors and her investors. People like Henry Kissinger, George Schultz, Rupert Madoff, James Mattis. But the truth was the Theranos blood analyzing device rarely worked and it was wildly inaccurate. By 2015, John Kerry Roos started writing articles about Theranos and Elizabeth Holmes approached Rupert Murdoch, the owner of the Wall Street Journal, and asked him to kill the story. But he said that he trusted the editors at the Wall Street Journal to do the right thing, and he wouldn't listen to Elizabeth Holmes. In the process of writing this book, John Kerry Rue interviewed over 1,500 people. Two of them really impressed me. They're very young kids straight out of college who got jobs working for this multi-billion dollar company in Palo Alto, California that was all the rage. But when they got there, they found that the gap between what Elizabeth Holmes claimed the Theranos device could do and reality was huge. And they couldn't in all good conscious just walk away from their jobs because patients' lives and health were at risk. And they maintained the strength of their conviction, even though they were being threatened by powerful Theranos lawyers and even followed by private investigators. Whenever Elizabeth Holmes was asked tough questions, she said that she couldn't answer because she'd be giving away trade secrets. This story is so fascinating I think that you'll really enjoy it. HBO made a documentary about this and there's a podcast on it as well. Currently, Elizabeth Holmes is facing federal fraud charges and her trial date is set for October 27th of 2020. So this fall, we should be hearing more about the fate of Elizabeth Holmes and the Theranos scandal. Our Between Two Libraries book discussion group is talking about Bad Blood on Tuesday, July 7th at 1 o'clock on Zoom. If you've read Bad Blood or watched the documentary or listened to the podcast and would like to contribute to our discussion, we would love to have you. You would just need to send me an email. Well, my work email is grebinoskis at einetwork.net and I can send you a Zoom invite. This is a fascinating book and honestly, I've just scratched the surface of how interesting this story is. 
Thank you so much. Have a great week and stay healthy. Bye.